It wasn't even freaking recording. <laughs> Yo, guys, what's going on? So um, I made a video yesterday about uh, something about like your savior functions versus your human needs, okay? But I missed a very critical part, which is the whole one in the video. So I'm doing this one right now. So what's the difference between a human need versus a function? Okay, I'm going to bring up my notes because I don't remember what I was going to say. Your human needs are your emotional wiring. So your needs drive your emotions, right? So if I need something, I'm going to feel like, oh my God, I need it. And then your emotions will drive your thoughts of like, oh, the thought, I need it. I want this. I want this because dot, dot, dot. Those are thoughts, right? And so you have your needs, drive your emotions, your emotions drive your thoughts. I know that's like controversial maybe in like personality science, but this is like very obvious if you sit down and think about it. This is to address when people are like, hmm, am I a thinker? I think all day. Or am I a feeler? I feel things all the time. First of all, that's like a really dumb question. And let's just like ground ourselves in freaking a reality, right? It's just like people are like, no, 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 you're, if you're a thinker, then you're thinking all the time. And like, yeah, sure, yes, you probably are, right? But uh, I, this is a really morbid example, right? But it's just like, if you, thinkers commit suicide, okay? They're not, they're not doing it because they think it's a good idea. They feel bad. Right? Their savior, their thinking savior function somehow is making them feel bad all the time. Right. And so what's going on there? I know that's like a very not palatable example, but hopefully it's like punchy. And so you have to ask yourself, like, if you're a thinker, why do you feel bad all the time? If you're a feeler, what is it that you're thinking about? Like you're rationalizing something, right? If your reasons are very obvious, you don't need to do that much thinking or rationalizing, right? It's just like, why did you take that high paying job? I did it for the money. You know, it's like, okay, why did you quit that high paying job? Well, you know, there's reason, 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 reason. And, you know, society, reason, 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 right? Like you have to justify that a whole lot more. If you, if you do what seems like a value-based decision, like you're going to have to justify that a lot more. And so you're going to think like, oh, that's thinking. And especially like if you're internal value driven and external reasons, you're going to give a lot of reasons. Let's also take TE, right? So TE as a human need is, okay, I'm looking at what everyone else is doing. I'm getting my sense of expectations of what I should be doing based on what everyone else is doing. That's not the TE of like, oh, I'm going to bonk on people's heads. Like, hey, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? That's how you get, that's how you fulfill your human need of TE. But the feeling or the drive of TE is like, oh, I need to like live up to other people's standards. And then it's not to say every TE savior is doing that. And the, probably the ones that are, probably the ones that are doing it, they might feel bad because they are not like following their values. And the ones that are TE saviors that are not like TE uh, hitting their mark, they feel bad because their TE is making them feel bad. The TE is making them feel, the thinking, the extroverted thinking is making you feel bad because you're not fulfilling the need, okay? And so that's how your feelings, how, you, how your needs, your TE, your thinking human need is making you feel bad. Anyways, that, that was like a main distinction I wanted to make. Your drive for something, your motivation for something, you making yourself feel bad, like your body or your unconscious making yourself feel bad when you don't hit the mark, that is your human need. And like what that mark is, is what that human me human need is, is that like, oh, it really bothers me that I don't feel a connection. It really bothers me that people don't accept what I'm doing. It really bothers me that I don't know where this is going. It really bothers me that I don't have like a sense of uh, control to do whatever I want, right? These are like needs. Um, it, the function that goes along with it is is a little bit separate, you know? It's, and it's almost described differently. One is like a motivation and one is like a tool and, and like a cognitive function of understanding things. The reason this is important is because you need to get to know where your emotional wiring is so that you can trick it into doing what you want, okay? I, that's a little bit convoluted, but let me explain that. Let's say I, me doing this video, okay? I'm not doing it because I like it. I do like it. I do like, I do enjoy. Okay, let's list the reasons of what, why I would enjoy making a YouTube video, right? I like teaching people. It's nice when people find what I say useful. I have a passion for making videos. I actually enjoy the process of making it and ideating and all that sort of stuff. It's a topic that I like, like personality and all that sort of stuff, even though I won't admit that to myself exactly in my own head. I like sharing my thoughts with people. I like connecting with people. Like I put something out there and then people message back and da 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 da. I like that. I like making something that's entertaining. Hopefully people watch this and they like it. I like correcting people that, hey, Human need is not the same thing as a cognitive function. I like that. And I like it that it hurts people's feelings when I say that. <laughs> so I have a lot of good reasons that would make me want to make a video, but I can't get myself to do, make a video based on those like reasons. 
I need something else. I need to like, so like literally I'll feel all these things. And I'm like, yeah, I do like this and I really enjoy it. And I, I enjoy it. But then I don't find the motivation to do it. And then what gives me the motivation to do it? It's like, as I'm like presenting these reasons to myself, I'm like, yeah, mm, eh, I don't know. What hits is that like, hey, if you make more videos, then you'll learn how to talk on camera and you'll learn how to, those skills will translate into real life and you'll be able to talk without saying um and ah. Wouldn't that be cool? Like people like that. And then suddenly it clicks. And I'm like, whoa, hold on, sweetheart. Are you talking about developing skills that people like? Giddy up. Nah, you're speaking my language. That's my TI voice. But literally that, that I find motivating enough to do. And it's stupid. Like, but that's just what does it for me. And for you, it's going to be something else because you have a different set of human needs. Unless, of course, you're my type twin. In which case, hit me up in the DMs and let's take over the world. Anyway, that's the point I was trying to make in that last video. Hopefully it makes a lot more sense. And um, I'm going to do a lot more videos. So I'll catch you in the next one. Popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. I don't think it does anything.